When opening a bottle of sparkling wine, if you shake the bottle and hear a big loud pop, you're doing it all wrong. What people do wrong when they open a bottle of sparkling, they can shake the bottle. Now that's wrong. If you remove the wire, what happens is with the pressure in the bottle, the cork might pop out. If the cork pops out, you break the ceiling, break the light, and what happens is you overflow. Now if you overflow, you lose your carbon dioxide. If you lose your carbon dioxide, the wine goes flat, and you don't want that with your sparkling wine. A lot of people think you want a big pop. Wrong way. If you leave the glass on the table and pour too fast, it will overflow, and you don't want that to happen. Now I'm going to show you the right way to open a bottle of sparkling wine. Now what you want to do is keep the wire on. It's for your own protection and the protection of others. As an extra security measure, you want to keep your thumb on the cork. Now we're ready to open the bottle. Now keep the bottle at a 45 degree angle, hold the cork with one hand, hold the bottle with the other hand, and if you want to look classy, you turn the bottle, not the cork. As you're turning the bottle and the cork is pulling out, you only want to hear it sound. And now to the most important part, pouring the wine into the glass. Now what you want to do is lift the glass off the table, keep it at a 45 degree angle and pour very slowly so you don't spill wine everywhere. If you've done all these things right, you're going to perfectly pour a glass of sparkling wine 